Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I will discuss about power factor improvement in power system network. One uh, practical example of power factor improvement will be discussed at the end of the theory discussion. Power factor, as you know, is the ratio of active power to apparent power. If the power factor of a system can be improved, then reactive power demand can be reduced. Power, system, a power factor improvement in a power system network is very important uh, factor. Uh, the, uh, we'll discuss uh, the advantages of power factor improvement after some time. Now, if we see the phasor diagram of a power system network, here the phi, uh, phi 1 represents the power angle between uh, voltage and uh, current before power factor correction. That means that normal condition, this cos phi power factor, this one equals to KVA divided by real power kilowatt and now after correction of power factor we will discuss the method how to how to improve the power factor after power factor, power factor correction the uh, power angle phi 2 uh, is the power angle between voltage and current this cos phi 2 that means power factor is the corrected power factor because of this uh, correction uh, we can see from this phasor diagram that the kva demand is now reduced as well as uh, reactive power requirement also reduced if we see the generator capability curve suppose in case of uh, in case of a power uh, power generation plant uh, there is a power generator whether maybe steam uh, steam generator or gas turbine generator so this this is the power uh, power generator capability curve as we can see from this capability curve that uh, at overexcited condition that means uh, lagging condition uh, no, normally 0 0.85 0.8 to 0 0.85 power factor is the operating power factor if we go uh, above 0 0.8 that means if we approach towards uh, unit power factor that is a uh, power factor equals to 1 if we approach towards unit power, power factor then the reactive then the reactive bar generation will be reduced in a power system network or in any electrical system network most of the loads are inductive in nature basically there are three types of uh, consuming loads in electrical network number one is inductive load suppose uh, induction motors these are the major consuming um, loads in any electrical network number two is synchronous motors which are uh, which are reactive uh, in nature that means uh, those loads supply reactive uh, reactive bar so number one number one is inductive loads which uh, which uh, consumes uh, re reactive bar number two is synchronous motors which deliver which deliver reactive bar in the electrical system and number three is resistive load that means which have the uh, unity power factor suppose lighting load or uh, heater load these are unity power factor loads so we are talking about the power factor improvement uh, basically for uh, for inductive loads which are about 80 percent 
uh, in the domestic as well as industrial uh, industrial uh, purposes now the question is how to improve the power factor of a system of a electrical network the best method is the uh, connection of some uh, connection of capacitor connection of sun capacitors that means suppose at the load ends there are there are lot of inductive loads so at the load ends suppose at the induction motor terminals we need to uh, we need to um, uh, connect some um, uh, capacitor banks capacitor banks are nothing but uh, a combination of C series and parallel combination of individual capacitor units so at load end we need to connect uh, the capacitor banks as per the requirement so how to calculate this capacitor bank sizing i uh, will discuss at the end of this uh, theory discussion as we have uh, said earlier so now we will discuss about the advantages advantages of um, power factor improvement by using sunt capacitors one is improved voltage regulation if we connect the capacitor bank at low end then uh, the sending sending end voltage and receiving end uh, voltage variation will be less suppose at uh, light load condition or no load condition at load end uh, normally the voltage regulation will be higher but if we if we um, arrange for capacitor banks if we arrange for this um, uh, perfect improvement by using this sunt capacitor banks then the voltage regulation will be reduced that means the voltage profile will be improved at receiving end next one is reduced kva demand as we have seen in uh, in this phasor diagram that if uh, uh, after the perfection uh, after the perfect correction the uh, kva demand will be reduced as well as reactive bar requirement will be reduced reduced next one is reduced line loss i square rt loss will be reduced energy saving and hence it will be economic uh, the um, consumer tariff uh, is calculated based on the uh, based on the consumed kva demand so if the kva demand is reduced then uh, obviously the tariff the economic uh, economic uh, situation will be uh, improved next one is reduced voltage fluctuations at receiving end from full load to light load condition or no load condition uh, uh, this voltage fluctuation can be controlled can be reduced by uh, by employing the switching capacitor banks that means uh, when it is required to switch on the capacitor banks and uh, how many units how many number of capacitor banks will be switched on uh, if we control this uh, system then it will be uh, then uh, it will be uh, controlled next it decreases the power transformer insulation stress also at light load or no load condition uh, during switching operation at light load or no load condition uh, there will be a, a stress in the transformer and hence the insulation uh, the the life of the insulation will be reduced but after uh, perfect correction this fluctuation as well as insulation transformer insulation stress will be reduced and this can avoid uh, poor illumination at load end in our domestic purposes also we have found that um, uh, sometimes voltage dip in uh, in the illumination system after perfect collection method this can be avoided these are the advantages A lot of advantages are there uh, uh, if we consider uh, the power system the uh, voltage profile stability as well as tariff and economic condition also now the 
installation point if you see uh, how to how to install the capacitor banks the, those are sun capacitor banks and and where to install in the uh, power system network now basically there are two types of uh, two types of uh, listening end one is load end suppose uh, for domestic purpose or uh, for industrial purposes there are uh, there are a lot of auxiliary drives uh, for this for, uh, so suppose there are some uh, induction motors um, so we need to install the capacitor the the uh, the suitable rating of capacitor banks at the load end uh, as far as possible uh, to the motor terminals and another type of receiving is substation end suppose there is uh, no direct uh, um, uh, consuming loads uh, there is no induction motors or like this but uh, there is a substation so at substation end also at substation end it may be lv uh, that is low voltage medium voltage or high voltage uh, at every voltage level these capacitor bands can be uh, employed so at substation end if we uh, um, use these capacitor banks then the at substation end the uh, the receiving end voltage profile will be improved so uh, this uh, this one is an advantage for power factor improvement now we will see one example for capacitor bank sizing we used in a project uh, uh, this capacitor bank sizing suppose this one is a PCC that means uh, in a PCC the PCC bus A there are some MCCs PMCC or EMCCs so we have calculated uh, based on the motor rating here uh, this is the motor rating this one is operating load that uh, suppose 60% so initial power factor typical is 0.85 this one is target power factor uh, it can't be unity power factor but uh, below that uh, maybe 0.97 or maybe 0.95 as per uh, client requirement also so uh, this one is the um, for formula that means this factor equals to 10 phi 1 minus 10 phi 2 mf equals to 10 phi 1 minus 10 phi 2 now the kv uh, kilowatt requirement that, is, that means reactive power kilowatt requirement equals to uh, that operating load that means 60 percent operating load multiplied by this factor so this one uh, is the kilowatt requirement so we can sum up all the we can sum up all the kilowatt requirements suppose this one is the total in uh, one pcc bus that means 256 256.49 kilowatt this this is the requirement for bus a now how to calculate number of uh, uh, capacitor banks or how to choose uh, how to select the number of uh, units or what will be the rating suppose this one is the uh, utility pcc bus a calculated kilowatt is 346.48 now uh, we are considering here 10 percent margin so it will be 381.13 so the round figure is 400 we can select the final kilowatt rating as 400 kilowatt so 400 to, to uh, 400 kilowatt is the total uh, bar requirement by the inductive loads so uh, now depending on the market availability or depending on the uh, uh, various uh, vendors suppose uh, 25 um, 25 kilowatt unit is available is the in the market or 50 kilowatt uh, 100 kilowatt uh, is also available in the market suppose uh, 100 kilowatt we can use uh, 2 into 100 kilowatt and so 200 kilowatt and balance 200 will be suppose uh, 8 units of 25 kilowatt each so total will be 400 kilowatt so we can use for this 400 uh, 400 kilowatt is two numbers 
100 kilowatt units plus 8 units of 25 kilowatt so total 400 kilowatt as required uh, by the uh, system so this is the calculation uh, procedure how to calculate uh, the number of units or the rating of the sun capacitors uh, required for any power system or any load uh, station or any substation and this is the typical calculation hope uh, you like my video uh, if you like my video please uh, hit the like button and please uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, hit the bell icon also so that I can uh, upload new videos for electrical systems.